domain and range from the graph of a parabola. The graph of a quadratic function with vertex 1, 0 is shown in the figure below. Find the domain and the range. Okay? And then it asks us to write the answers as inequalities using x or y as appropriate, or you may instead click on empty set or all reals. Okay? So first we're going to talk about the domain. Okay, now the domain is all the possible x values of this function. So I'm looking along the x axis here. And I, I just think to myself, okay, because I'm going to name the domain, uh, well, I'm going to start looking for a value over here, okay, in the negative direction. So I think to myself, what's the last x value I will ever have in this graph? And since this is a slanted line, right, and it keeps going up forever, okay, that line is going to keep going up, but it also keeps going this way, right? So at negative 4, I'll be able to go up and find the graph somewhere. It'll just be way up here, okay? And at negative 10, it'll be even further up, okay? But the graph will be there somewhere because it's going to, this little arrow means it keeps going on forever, and because it's, you know, angling, okay, at an angle, um, it'll eventually, right, get out to any x value that I want. So, in my x's, I really have no boundary or end point to the left here. So, we're going to say the x's just will never end going in the negative direction, or we can go out to infinity in the negative direction, and we'll still have x values in that graph. We do the same thing going in the positive direction, or to the right, right? Where is going to be the last x value I'll ever have for this graph? And again, it's just going to keep going forever for the same reasons, because this line Okay, the little arrow means it keeps on going forever and because it's kind of angled, right, anywhere I go for an X, the graph, I'll be able to go up and hit the graph somewhere because the graph keeps going forever. So my domain, my X's go all the way from negative infinity to positive infinity, which we're going to answer as all reals, okay? Empty set would mean I have no x values for the domain. There's not any x values, okay? So range, now we're going to look at the y values, or consider the y axis here. So uh, down this way, right, I want to know what's the lowest y value I will ever have. And you can see, right, that this graph comes down, bottoms out, and goes right back up. So this zero is the lowest y value I'll ever have, and then it's gonna go to infinity in this direction. So for my range, my y's, and we have to use y here, because we're talking about the y values, the y's will always be bigger or greater than or higher than on the graph zero. And I put equal to because there is actually a value at zero right there. So my range will be the y values of this function will always be greater than or equal to zero.